I'm Katie and I'm from the Institute of Leadership and Management. Um, we're a charity and membership body with over 30,000 members across the world. And our mission is to inspire great leadership everywhere. We're proud to support the great work of Employability UK in helping young people realise their aspirations and succeed in the workplace. Today's letter is you. Uh, understand that everyone has setbacks, it's not failure. And it can be difficult to recognise that, especially when you work really hard at something and it doesn't go the way that you wanted it to. It's even harder when your friends and the people around you seem to be effortlessly succeeding and, and you feel that you're struggling to keep up. The first thing to remember is that even if everyone around you seems to have it all worked out, they really don't. Everyone has their own struggles and challenges and they're not always visible. You rarely see every setback in a person's life, but you have a front row seat to all of yours. So make sure you keep this in perspective and, and try not to compare yourself to other people. Anything worth having takes a lot of hard work and practice. If you truly want to succeed at something, then make sure you're taking time out of your day to get better at it. It's always really tempting when you're struggling with something, just the hope that it will go away if you don't pay attention to it. It won't. And you won't get any better at it by avoiding it. But if you are feeling overwhelmed and stressed, then, then take a break. Do something that makes you feel good, whether that's going for a run, listening to music or texting your friends. Break down what you want to do into achievable, realistic goals and reward yourself when you smash them. Tell one of your friends and family what you're planning so they can hold you accountable and celebrate with you when you get there. Even if things do go wrong and, and you don't progress the way that you wanted to, take the fear out of failure. Take a breather, look at what's happened and, and how you went wrong and then decide what lesson you're going to take away from this and then draw a line under it and, and move on. There's no point in beating yourself up endlessly over things that haven't worked out for you. It makes you feel terrible and it's a waste of your time. Finally, facing your setbacks and challenges with courage will really help with your confidence over time. Things will go wrong now and then, that's just life. But knowing that you have the tools to deal with it and move on from it will make you feel more able to deal with it when the time comes. I hope that helps. If you are interested in learning more, you can purchase the A to Z of Super Confidence um, by visiting the Employability UK website. And if you'd like to learn more about the Institute of Leadership and Management, then please visit us at www.institutelm.com.